In honor of Jose Mourinho calling all of us Einsteins, imagination is more important than knowledge. I'm going to preview and correctly predict the score because that is what I do for some of my favorite matchups from this weekend. You ready? Two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity. And I'm not sure about the universe. What the f Einstein, what are you trying to say about me? Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Okay, that's better. I mean, I think it's better. First up, Manchester United versus Leicester City. Here's what we know. It's clear that United lack chemistry, either due to poor manager selection or poor players. <clears throat> Wayne Rooney. Or the fact that the current players don't fit in with the manager's philosophy, but he has to play them anyway because that's all he's got to work with. <clears throat> like Luke Shaw, Daly Blinn, Marwan Fellaini, Juan Mata. As for Leicester, this season was always going to be tougher because they have the target of reigning champions on their back. They're not the same defensively without N'Golo Kante protecting the back four, and they haven't won at Old Trafford since 1998. However, Islam Slimani was a great signing, and I think he's going to do wonders partnering with Jamie Vardy up top. So they have that going for him. So this this is what we're gonna see. United has to press the game. They have to get everybody involved. They have to get the crowd involved. And everything that they do, especially early on, needs to be positive. They need to get the first shot, the first corner. They have to set the tone. But that's gonna play into Leicester's hands because Leicester loves to counterattack. So they're gonna to have to be aware of Vardy and Slimani, who I think is gonna fill in for Shinji Okazaki. Even though he scored two goals against Chelsea midweek, he's gonna sit on the bench, as will Wayne. Rooney, who, because he's not in the team, is going to make United more dynamic in midfield, which means the final score, as I see it, is going to be United 2, Leicester 1. Next up, Arsenal versus Chelsea. This is what we know. Arsenal are unbeaten in their last six games in all competitions, but Chelsea are unbeaten in 10 out of their last 11 games against Arsenal, especially at the Emirates, where the Blues have won three and drawn two in their last five games. So here's what we're going to see. The strength of both of these teams is in the middle of the field. So I expect to see a narrow game with Arsenal dominating possession and Chelsea being like, all right, that's cool, which means whichever team can effectively use the width the best. And I'm talking to you outside backs for both teams. Bellerin, Monreal, Ivanovic, and Aspilicueta. Also, pronunciation check, nailed it. And all four of these guys are going to provide the width for both teams going forward. And whichever team can maintain their defensive shape the best and not get pulled out of position, and I'm looking at you, David Luiz, then I believe that that team is going to win or they're both going to make mistakes and they're going to tie. And maybe that's how my heart is really telling me since I brought that up. So I predict that the score is going to be Arsenal 2, Chelsea 2. Next up, Las Palmas versus Real Madrid. All right, here is what we know. Real Madrid, they're on top of the table and they pay a lot of money to be there, so I'm glad that's happening for them. James Rodriguez is in top form. Cristiano Ronaldo is rounding into full health. Unfortunately, Casemiro, Pepe, and Marcelo are out for this game with injuries, so that could affect the defensive shape and, and how they move as a group. With Las Palmas, they were once the talk of the league after their great start to the season. Saw them in the top three for the first three or four weeks, but they've since lost two out of the last three games, and I think it's just going to be a steady decline from there. So this is what we're going to see, and it's interesting because Madrid faces Borussia Dortmund three days after this game in the Champions League, so they're probably not going to want to go all out. But you never want to drop points to an inferior opponent and you want to take advantage of your biggest rival Barcelona being without their top player Leo Messi for the next three weeks because of an injury. So I think Madrid is going to try to push the game right from the start, try to nip an early goal or two and then hit cruise control the rest of the way so those guys can rest before a big game on Tuesday. So I predict the score to be Madrid 3, Las Palmas 1. And finally, <laughs> my quick hits. Brought my own sound effects. Respect. Besiktas versus Galatasaray, second versus third. The two top goal scorers in the league, Besiktas' is Sanktosan versus Galatasaray's Aaron Dirdiak. It's just going to be a great game. And even though both of these teams are evenly matched on paper, Besiktas have won 12 straight games at home. Not just unbeaten, but have won all 12. So final score, Besiktas 2, Galatasaray 1. Next up, FC Köln versus RB Leipzig. Now Köln are off to a great start in the Bundesliga, registering three wins and one draw in four games, conceding only one goal in those four games, which warms my heart as a former defender, which means they're in second place, only one point behind Bayern Munich. But they are facing off against one of the best counter-attacking teams in Germany, who are off to a great start as well. So this one is gonna be pretty tough to call, but I'm gonna go with my gut in this one right here, in my gut, and I think Colm's gonna do it one to nothing. 
Sorry, Leipzig. And then there was Corinthians versus Fluminense. Now, these two teams faced off midweek in the Copa do Brasil, and Corinthians controversially won one to nothing after Fluminense didn't get rewarded with an obvious penalty kick call, and they're pissed. But thankfully for us viewers, they're playing again this weekend. And it's important for a lot of reasons. Not only for redemption for Fluminense, but because they're separated by one point in the table, and they're both fighting for that last Copa Libertadores spot. So if you watch any game from South America this weekend, Make it this one. Final score, Corinthians won, Fluminense won, and a whole bunch of red cards. And finally, the LA Galaxy versus the Seattle Sounders. With the return of Landon Donovan, there seems to be a new pep in the Galaxy step as they look to finish the season strong and secure home field advantage in the playoffs, including MLS Cup, which is given to the league's best team. Now they're currently four points behind FC Dallas for that honor. As for Seattle, if they win all six of the remaining games, they're going to easily make it into the playoffs. But seeing how they've only won 10 games all season, that could just be too big of an ask. Final score, Galaxy 3, Sounders 2. All right, that's it. I am done talking. So what do you guys think? Am I going to nail all these games or what? I'm thinking 100% for sure. Comments, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.